Hi everyone, thanks for checking in again on our Working From Home series. We hope you're all doing well and hopefully you found the video so far useful. Even if you don't have time to do all of them, just doing one or two can help to break up the routine and maybe alleviate some of the stress you might be feeling at the moment. So today we're going to be looking at the lower back and hips. Now I'm sure a lot of you have experienced uh, pain in the lower back and when thinking about the lower back it's important to remember that everything in the body is connected and often the reason for this lower back pain is actually tightness in the hip flexors. So we're going to show you some stretches and some self massage techniques to not only help with the lower back pain but also to try and open up those hips a bit. Now. You can get tight hip flexors from running and cycling, but also as a result of sitting a lot in that flexed position. So this can be a problem when we're working from home. This first stretch targets the outer hip as well as the glutes. Swivel away from your desk to give yourself a bit of room. Then sitting upright in your chair, cross your ankle over the opposite knee. Flex your foot and you should feel a stretch on the outside of the hip. If you're not feeling much or you want to increase the sensation, slowly hinge forward at your waist and lean into the hip. Hold this for 20 to 30 seconds before switching sides. Now let's try a gentle seated twist. Start by perching close to the edge of the chair with a nice straight back. Think about actively engaging your abs to protect the lower back and keep this activation throughout. Bring your arms up and take a nice deep breath in, exhaling as you twist to one side. Hold this for about 20 seconds. You can take another breath in whilst in the twist and use the exhalation to deepen the stretch. You can use the opposite arm to add a bit of extra resistance as you'll see Lucinda demonstrating. This is a really nice stretch to warm the muscles around the lumbar vertebrae. Now let's look at a technique to massage the lower back. This is where the tennis ball that we used back in episode 5 will come in useful again. For this, try to find a flat piece of wall or a door or a surface that you can lean against. Place your back against the flat surface and bring your heels about a foot away. Then place the tennis ball behind the lower back just to the side of the spine. Slowly bend your knees, moving your back down and pressing against the ball. You can do this five or so times before moving to the other side. And don't worry, the ball will probably drop to the floor more than once. Just pick it up and start again. If you have a floor space where you can do this, you'll feel a bit more stability and also a bit more pressure from your body weight against the tennis ball. If you don't have a tennis ball or something similar lying around, there is another nice technique that you can do. Just take your hands to the sides of your waist as you'll see Lucinda demonstrating and slide the thumbs around the back either side of the base of the spine. Using firm pressure, move up the sides of the lumbar vertebrae, making circular motions with the thumbs, and then sliding back down to the base of the spine. You can do this three or four times, or as many as feel good for your back, and this is a really nice way to alleviate any tension that builds up in the lower back. Thanks so much for watching everyone. As always, send any questions or comments our way, either on our social media platforms or to our email address, pummelandmead at gmail.com.